you've got to eat your fruits and vegetables. It's something we've all heard when we were growing up, right? It's something we now even say to our own children. But CDC research shows almost every American fails to get enough fruits and veggies into their diet. Well, as part of our My Cuisine series, we're giving you a little refresher course on how to incorporate more of those refreshing foods into your meals and snacks. And here to help us is Vidya Samsender, Marketing Manager for Del Monte Fresh Produce. Good morning. Thank you for having me. No, thanks for being here. I gotta tell you, I love fruit. Great. Any kind of fruit. Ask my kids, no. They don't want fruit. And you know, I try to tell them it's really important to eat their yeah, fruits. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, 2010 US Dietary Guidelines just came out and you actually need to fill half of your plate with fruits and veggies now. So half of half your plate? Of your plate which well, is, I, I don't think I do that much. Well, I think we need to get started. And we do because no doubt they're good. I mean, just, I mean, vitamins, the list goes on, antioxidants. Absolutely, there's vitamins, minerals. I mean, fruits are overall great for you. And there's research that actually shows that the more you eat fruits and vegetables, the less likely you are to get colds, illnesses, sicknesses, whatever's out there, so. Okay, so we know we have to do it, mm -hmm. but why don't we do it? And especially with our children, I'm guilty. Um, I think the most common mistake for our kids and for us is that the it's not as convenient. Um, it's easier to grab an unhealthy snack because it's packaged, it's there, it's ready and available. So what we need to do as a parent and even for ourselves is make it make it available. Make it ready to eat, um, have fresh fruits and vegetables handy for your kids. And easily available because I'll be honest, I'll have the watermelon and, and the pineapple and the kids get home, it's not cut up. What do they do? They go to the pantry, they grab the brownie. Well, kids tend to graze when they come home and they're trying to grab a snack to eat and if you have something available in the refrigerator, they're gonna eat it. If you have fruits and veggies available, they're gonna eat it. And making it fun. Making it fun. That's always a great so idea to do. Let's make it fun mm -hmm. and show me what we have here today. Well, I mean, starting off for parents and for everyone else, we have a uh, fruit salad with um, melon, cantaloupe, strawberries, and berries. For when you're having barbecues, picnics, and um, having gatherings, we have um, Del Monte um, fruit platters. They're available. Now, let me ask you something. When I have a party and I have a fruit platter like this, it'll get warm. How, how can I keep it f cool and fresh? Well, a great way to do that is cut up your fruits and veggies beforehand put them in the refrigerator, put them in the freezer, freeze them a little bit, and then bring them out so it stays cooler. Excellent idea. Okay, this is great. This my kids would adore. This is great to do with the kids also. We're, we took fruits and veggies and we cut them up in with cookie cutters. So you can do the shapes that they like and it's something fun and activity that they can do. Probably great for birthday parties too. There you go, and here's another winner. A absolutely, we have fruit kebabs. That's um, great. These are fun. I mean, kids love anything that's a little portable and just looks fun and interesting. Um, you can make them out of any fruit, anything that the kids like. I tell you, I think my girls would go for this and I'm gonna go for the grape. Mm -hmm. What I love also is the fact that you freeze your grapes. Absolutely, frozen grapes are great for on the go, for snacking, they're refreshing, they're healthy. It's a great item to take along with you to the beaches, the parks, and in the summertime you want things that are gonna be refreshing because it's hot out there. It is a brain freeze, brain <laughs> freeze right now. And this is awesome, a banana split, mm. kind of, sort of, if you will, mm -hmm. and healthy. Well, it's a healthy banana split. Um, you can make it with um, any types of fruits. We have a banana that we split in half there, fill it with fruits, toppings. We topped it with yogurt and granola. And you can basically use any type of fruit that you want. What a great substitute. Yeah. Now, a lot of this stuff, obviously, we can't take in the car, but you guys have something that I think is the best thing right now to put into my kid's lunchbox. Mm -hmm. Tell me about this. It's a pineapple in a bag? It's a pineapple push-up. It's a pineapple spear that's <gasps> in a bag. Cold pineapple is one of the best things in the world. Well, it's like eating candy. It is, and it's fresh, it's easy to open, and it's good for the absolutely, children. Absolutely, absolutely. Do you have other fruits besides um, the pineapple? We do have packaged bananas also. Mm. Um, we have a vending program that we're launching that has those products in it, and also in like convenience stores out there. I love this, and also dips. Mm -hmm. Dips are well, great. Dips are great because, I mean, everybody loves fruit, but you add a little dip, a little bit of yogurt to it, it's a great option. I'm telling you. It's I another know. way to make it fun, too. <laughs> Can you notice I didn't have breakfast? I see that, you're enjoying <laughs> the fruit. <laughs> More brain freeze, this has been great. I'm gonna try some of these ideas, especially the little kebab. Mm -hmm. Let's see if I can get my girls to start eating some fruit. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. Great ideas, and thank you for the fruit. And if you want more recipes like this, it's very easy. Just head to fruitsfruits.com. Oh, I love this.